got him. Man, that fish just couldn't resist it. I saw this fish on the bottom. He's poked his head up a couple times and sometimes all it takes is what I did there. I just reeled up a little bit and dropped right back down to him. Just kind of gave him a reset. And I, I think a lot of times we stuck on the bottom of the ice. There, I got him. Got lucky. Oh yeah, good eye. Look at this one. Great eater size fish. Got a little lucky there. This fish got, that fish got hung up on the bottom of the ice and nearly, nearly got off. You know, that's one of the easiest ways to lose a fish is when you get hung up there. Really all you can do is what I did. Just, just stop reeling for a second and get them off that bottom of the ice as quick as you can. And the best way to do that is just give them a little bit of slack. Don't flip your bail open because you don't want him to be able to turn and go too far. All I did there is I just kind of dropped the rod tip, gave him a second and then came right back up. If you give them too long, a lot of times they'll spit it. That's a great fish. I want to show you what I'm using here because this is one of my favorite baits, especially for a day like today. Look at that eye. That's a great fish. 15 degrees below outside. Good old fashioned cold front. Let's let this guy go. Then I'm gonna show you this bait. Get out of here, bud. There he goes. That's a great fish. Man, it's easy to say, let's just stay home today. I mean, when it's, when it's this cold outside, I've got the heater running and you can still see my breath. I see it every time I'm breathing and talking. But one of the things that I've learned over the years in a cold front is a lot of times you just gotta slow down. And it's, it's not necessarily that you've got to slow down how you're jigging. Sometimes you just got to slow down what your bait actually does, slow down the action. And a lot of times you don't have total control over that. So with this quiver spoon, you actually do. And here's why the quiver spoon's made out of tin. So every time I lift this jigging spoon up, it flutters back down really slow. And what it does is it's given that flash, it's given that look of a really easy meal because it's going back down slow. And when these fish are in that slow mode around a cold front, the best thing you can do is give them something easy because they're not gonna be darting all over. If this were summertime right now, we were in a cold front where we dropped 40 degrees, I'm not gonna pull a crankbait. There's no way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fish slow. Well, in the winter, you gotta think the same way. It's just we're thinking more now vertically versus horizontally. And that's why this quiver spoon is so doggone good in these situations. It's good all the time, don't get me wrong, but man, in these cold fronts, it's probably my favorite spoon to tie on because that action is slow. It drops it down there really slow and it gives that walleye time to look at it, think about it, and go up and grab it. It's an easy meal.